Hello, I'm Shikha Yadav. You're watching Agri Business News. Let's start with the latest updates. Global agri trade firm Banji is set to acquire a 33% stake in Brazil-based Sinagro, an associate company of India's leading agrochemical firm UPL Limited, to strengthen its green orientation strategy in Brazil. Sinagro is a major reseller of grain and agriculture, and Banji is one of the world leaders in sourcing, processing, and supplying oilseed and grain products and ingredients. If Co, the cooperative fertilizer company, has reached out to farmers in Kuttanad, the rice bowl of Kerala, through a boat campaign to popularize its nano urea liquid, Kuttanad is a region covering Alappi, Kottayam, and Pathanamitta districts. The Kuttanad below sea level farming system is the only system in India that practices rice cultivation at around 1.2 to 3 meters below sea level. ITC Limited, a leading multi-business Indian enterprise with a presence in FMCG, paper, packaging, agribusiness, hotels and IT, poured into beverages made from 100% Indian fruit, is powered by its deep linkages with Indian farmers. The company's range of beverages includes juices with the goodness of fruit and fiber and milkshakes with the real fruits bits in a variety of flavors. Agritech platform Big Heart has raised rupees 100 crores in equity from investors led by JM Financial Private Equity in Series B funding. Big Heart functions on a unique direct-to-farmer model and seeks to transform the agriculture value chain by leveraging science, data and technology. Worms, an agri-risk management company, is on a mission to mainstream the use of technology for smallholder farmers and to secure their income with SecuFarm, the world's first smart and sustainable farming solution. Solvent Extractors Association of India has said that there is a need to renew futures trading in mustard seeds and their derivatives. Atul Chaturvedi, president of SEA, said SEBI has suspended various futures and options trade in many agricultural commodities, including mustard seed, in October with the expectation that it will check runaway prices and inflation. Punjab Agricultural University's Krishi Vigyan Kendra Bhatinda has conducted scientific advisory committee under the chairmanship of Dr. G. S. Bhuttar, Additional Director of Extension Education at PAU. Dr. P. P. S. Pannu, Additional Director of Research of Natural Resource and Plant Health Management at PAU, stressed the need to promote packaging and processing of agricultural produce for better economic returns whilst highlighting the importance of paddy residue management. Officers from allied departments, progressive farmers of the region, and farm women participated in the meeting. Cargill has announced an agreement with Croda to acquire the majority of its performance technologies and industrial chemicals business in 2022 for $1.03 billion on a cash-free, debit-free basis. The investment expands Cargill's bioindustrial footprint to better serve industrial manufacturers searching for greener ingredient solutions. Farmers who opted for the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana from 2016 to 17 have still not received insurance claims. Over Rs. 3,300 crore is pending in payment to farmers across India in crop insurance claims since 2018 to 19 under the government's flagship crop insurance scheme. For more such agri updates, keep watching Krishi Jagran Business. Thank you.